Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. It's me, John Park, and it is time for this week's episode of JP's Product Pick of the Week. That's me. And in fact, this week, the title is a lie because it's JP's Product Picks of the Week, plural. We have two closely related products that we're going to have uh, featured today, as well as on the deep, deep 50% off discount. So the first thing I want to do is send you to not one, but two web pages. So you can go to either one of these QR codes or check out these URLs down here to head to the product pages and you will see pretty much the same setup. We have half off pricing, which you don't need a coupon code for, just put it in your cart. You can get, I believe, maximum of 10. I'm not sure if that's split across the two or if you can actually get 20 of these in total if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. But you don't need any sort of coupon code, just put them in the cart, they're 50% off during this show. So you'll want to check out right about by the end of the show, a uh, little bit of a grace period there, but that's how that works, no coupon code necessary. And the next thing I want to do is have Lady Ada go back a little bit into our not-too-distant past and tell us about these products. So please, Lady Ada, won't you take it away? We have... Near pixels with alligator clips by popular demand. Um, some people, especially teachers and students and people doing workshops are like, hey, I don't want to have to strip, cut, wire, screw, solder, whatever, near pixels. I just want to clip them on and be done. So, um, them on a micro bit, in a fact, close -ups. and we have these in what, two different colors? We have two different lengths. Two different lengths. Um, now explain. The first length, I'm gonna, we I'll have, do the overhead. Let me do the overhead. Overhead is 30 LEDs per meter. So it's kind of like this, you know, big, um, like two inches apart or so. And um, you get a full meter and at the end it's sealed because we want to make this kind of durable. Uh, you get red, black, and white. Red is of course uh, three volt power. So you can clip that on here. Black is the ground pin. So I'll clip this on. Slippery here. And then white is the signal pin. And we use the SK6812, which is a um, NeoPixel compatible chip that does not need, oh, this is really slippery, hold on. There you go. Um, does not need a resistor or capacitor. So you can just plug them in directly. And then if I reset this, Look at that. It comes up. It's a NeoPixel strip with a rainbow in it. Here, so let's, uh, maybe hold up the strip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mirror right here. I can just show it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. There so one is. meter long of 30 LEDs per meter. So you get 30 LEDs. Um, NeoPixel it works with like you know every NeoPixel whatever library. Um, you can use these chips with three volt logic and power, so it works fine with the micro bit, even though it's only a three volt regulator. Okay. Uh, haven't had any issues with it. And then we also have another version, which is 60 LEDs per meter. Just when you thought it couldn't get better, um, it got better. And to keep the cost reasonable, because I, I, I'm thinking we'll start with like you know basic strips. It's twice as dense, so they're about you know one inch apart. Um, but you only have half a meter, so it's a shorter strip but more dense. So you have the longer, less dense, shorter, more dense. Same number of LEDs. You get 30 LEDs per. Um, just different lengths. So I thought, you know, this would this would cover a lot of people's projects. Um, honestly, especially with the micro bit, you don't want to power too many LEDs because, again, that regulator isn't really designed to power a ton of NeoPixels. So I thought this was, like, you know, a pretty safe number of pixels. 30 is, like, a pretty, you know, you're not going to go too crazy with that. You're not going to overload your, your micro bit or the, your circuit playground. If you want, you know, a, a five-meter long strip, um, you're already a more advanced um, maker or crafter anyways. So works great with the circuit playground as well. Just again, power to the red clip, ground to the black clip and white to the signal clip. And then you can use it with circuit Python, Arduino, make code, whatever. Uh, just really, really easy to get going and then um, reusable, recyclable. So make it with one project, disconnect and then connect to another project. Hey, there's the song again. Uh, so yes, let's check these out. These are these are really fantastic. I'm going to jump to my overhead uh, or my down shooter here for a second. Here's the first uh, exciting reveal. We've got a couple of these. So here is my gosh. There's a lot of threading on this little cap. Woo! There we go. So there. Ooh, yes. Ah, 
that's one. And let's see, let me let's switch to the other view. What do we have here? Oh, oh, ah, uh, hey, uh, 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 uh. ah, there it is. Yes, that's one whole meter of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are our alligator clip NeoPixel strips, and we have two versions of them. You can see uh, one of them is quite long. That is one meter, and that is the 30 NeoPixel per meter. This one is the half meter, and that's 60 NeoPixels per meter. So what that means is they both have 30 NeoPixels. It's just one is quite a bit denser than the other, and that will be useful depending on the type of thing you're trying to make. So let's have a look at uh, a demo of these. What these are really useful for, like Lady Ada mentioned, these use the SK6812 chip on them, and that works with 3-volt logic. So these are perfect for things like our Circuit Playground Express and Circuit Playground Blue Fruit boards, as well as Microbit, because they have these nice alligator clip friendly pads on them. So let's fire one of them up. I'm gonna grab a little dense strip here, and you can see what we have are a ground, a power, which is good for three to f anywhere from three to five volts, and a data pin. So I'm gonna, let's switch back to the overhead for this, and I will, connect those up. You can see how this connects here. So we'll go, that's labeled really nicely on the board there on the micro bit. There's ground, there was three volt, and I have this hooked up to the uh, pin zero data pin. Try to keep those straight there. And then we can power that off of, directly off of a LiPo if we want. So I'll do that. And you can see I've got a nice little animation running there on the strip. I made that using uh, make code for Microbit. And like Lamor said, these are really terrific for educators, for people who are doing props, for people who are doing costumes, because they are uh, essentially water resistant, almost waterproof. They're in silicone. They're kind of, uh, the wires are, are potted in silicone here. We have these silicone covers on them. Uh, they are capped at the ends there. So these are pretty good for durability. Uh, we also have this longer one here. I'll go ahead and hook this one up to my Circuit Playground Express. So I've got power. Let's see, where's the top of the board here? Three volt up here. We'll do, I think I have pin A2 in my Circuit Python code and ground. And I'll power that one also off of a LiPo. That'll work off of USB, it'll work off of batteries. And this one I have one of our nice LED animation scripts running that does a, uh, a nice little sparkle pulse there. So let's have a look at the web pages for these since there's two of them. There's the difference you can see pretty clearly there in the lengths, even though they're both 30 pixels, they're, they're about uh, half the density for one of them. If we take a look at this main page here. I'll bring back a uh, little glowy demo there. You can see this is product 3811, and that is the denser 60 LEDs per meter. And here is product 3812, and that is the 30 per meter, the longer strip. And they're about the same price. You can see it's $7.48 for the longer one, $6.25. It's a really great bargain since that's the uh, uh, same density of NeoPixels, just depends on your needs. If you scroll down towards the bottom, you can see we've got some links to guides such as our NeoPixel Uber guide, as well as some projects that have been made with these. Here's one I did a while ago. Uh, it's a slightly different one, but you could do this, I think, with the Fetter, the, the Circuit Playground uh, Blue Fruit. I think that one has the horsepower necessary to make one of these sort of light stick um, painting light sticks. So this one, it fires up, will run patterns, and then you can do long exposure photography to do sort of persistence of vision stuff. You can also make some fun lightsabers and uh, other, other LED toys with them. But the flexibility of it is, is its flexibility. I think you can, you can you know, mount that inside of your cool cyber hoodie hood, um, mount this on the back of a prop, that sort of thing. Uh, if we take a look at the code for this Sparkle one, just to show you, it's really, 
uh, easy to clip in physically. It's also easy to code inside of CircuitPython in this case. But these will work with Arduino. These will work with make code as well. Uh, here is the Atom code for that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so in this case, I'm importing the board uh, for pin definitions, NeoPixel, Adafruit LED animation, Sparkle Pulse, and uh, there's some preset colors you can grab from that library as well. I'm using this jade color. And then I'm setting up which pin I'm on, how many NeoPixels I have. Uh, then I'm setting up the Sparkle Pulse to do a certain speed, a certain period. We'll run through all of those LEDs. And then the main loop just is run Sparkle Pulse animate. Now, one of the fun things is since these are both 30 per... Uh, strip, you can go and swap these around even while it's running. Pretty straightforward to go and say, we'll run that uh, sort of VU meter code on the longer strip now. There you go, and it's up and running. It doesn't even mind being hot plugged like that. Uh, and now we have a nice long VU meter strip. A little, little too long for uh, for fitting under my, my camera there, I think. Um, and you can mix and match these. Now, since these don't have a, uh, an open end, like some NeoPixels, it's not so straightforward to add them together. And like, again, as Lamore said, if you're looking to do much longer strips, uh, different densities, different types, you're probably not looking for alligator clip style connections. Um, but these are really great for classroom situations where you wanna pass these around and uh, not have to worry about breadboarding, soldering, different types of connectors on which board you can use it on. These are really versatile. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna jump over to the Discord for a second and see if we got uh, any quests. Sorry, Seagrover had to stop eating lunch for a moment. <laughs> I should have had them lit when I did that, shouldn't I? That would've been kind of fun. Uh, also, since these are, this is ill-advised, but since these are um, covered in that silicone coating, you can kind of, Use them to glow the insides of human bodies if you want, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you everyone for stopping by over in the YouTube chat as well as in our Discord. If you're over on Twitch and other places, by the way, check out our Discord. It's adafruit.it slash Discord. Go to the live broadcast chat. Uh, I will head back here. Someone pointed out that I covered the uh, bottom QR code with the, um, yeah, Jordy. Jordy G said I, I covered the bottom QR code with that uh, watermark there, or that logo, so sorry about that. Uh, but those are the two pages, 3811 and 3812 uh, product pages. And if you head there, you can go and uh, pick up one or both in multiples of these NeoPixel alligator clip strips. Uh, by the way, I mentioned uh, make code for Microbit. This has a NeoPixel extension for it, so I added in a, a strip there. You can see I was starting to, to rebuild that, that uh, sketch. So it's fun for uh, plug and play, drag and drop style graphical editing, as well as for things like CircuitPython uh, and Arduino. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, so let me see, how about I hook these back up so we can get a little light show on the way out. I'm gonna try to remember how I had this one plugged. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Those are the two product picks of the week today. They are the alligator clip NeoPixel strips in both the one meter and half meter length, both with 30 pixels, so two different densities. And uh, that is gonna do it for today. So I'm gonna just drape these, how about, over my wall here and I'll arrange those later, but we can get a little, little light show going there. Uh, thanks everyone for coming by. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week. Don't forget to head over to our website to pick some of these up at the discounted price and that's good just during this show. So I'll, uh, I'll play the song, uh, the, in, the, ec the outro, the outro music and you'll have a a bit of an extra second there to, to go and check out if you're picking up some of these and some other stuff. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time.